Right, just a quick reminder, please um, don't subscribe, you know, you don't have to share the channel, there's nothing useful here at all to anyone, um, so yeah, like and subscribe and sharing is just, please don't, you know, I, I've already got far, far too many people in, in, in the world already harassing me, you know, have it to produce videos for you all, it's just, you know, so there's nothing interesting in this upcoming video. Just so you know, okay? And it won't be of any use to anyone, okay? At all. So don't watch it. Yeah, that's it, really. Nothing interesting coming up. Cheers. Right. So here we have the two believer halves. Um, now, I have already pre glued some bits in. There's a little spine here that I've glued in. And from the pack of parts I've been and I've got these pieces here, one, two and three. These will slide in and they're for the quick release with canopies and bits. Okay, so I'm just going to check that it will all fit together because you always want to make sure that you've got everything's just going to fit nicely. Yes. Right. So now today's glue of choice is Gorilla Glue. Okay, so Gorilla Glue is the glue of choice, and it's just because it's nice, it's easy, and it works. Now, the important bit with Gorilla Glue is it does foam, so you don't want to overdo it when you're gluing two things together. Come on, give me next bits. Welcome to bits, it says. Yes, there we go. Oop, just coming out. Loose still a bit wet there. Make sure they're all nice and tight. Yep, yep. Right. The important bit is to make sure that you've got everything glued in like these tail pieces before you glue together, because if you don't, you could end up missing something. Now, Gorilla Glue. So Gorilla Glue likes to have uh, one surface slightly damp, okay, so we're just going to make one of the surfaces, but uh, just kitchen roll, just damp, just running it over everything, okay, where the glue is going to touch, okay. Right. You actually only need to one side, like I say so. Not too wet, because it's not too moist. Just want it damp, really. Now, the glue. So, like I mentioned, Gorilla Glue will foam. So the idea is, you don't want it too much, and you don't want too little. Bit of a dark art, okay? Oh, hello stomach. So, We'll just start across the middle. Okay. Just going to do it nice. Just watch out because that's where it's a bubble. Around the front here, you can get some nice into the piece there across the front because you want the front to seal nicely. All right, avoid it up bit there. Put some across these two welding holes here. Put just a gentle bit across this edge here, where we're going to the other side of the body. Put a piece here, glue, nice bubble there. We can just get a little bit on the other side as well. There need to be big amounts. The glue will foam up as it does. Here, just to help join. Into this piece here, then we're at the back. Oh, we're at the back. Yeah, just turn the camera. 
camera slightly. So now down the back piece, again don't get the diver too much because if you do you get a lot of foaming. We don't want that. Nicely through. We've got another piece of plastic here just to so it holds. Just a drop there as well. Also it grips. Down to the back. Around the back piece. across the top on top of the bubbles just there and there Remember, Gorilla Glue will, will expand, so these moulding injection parts here, it will, it will bond into that space. Right, it'll expand into that space. Right, that's, that's enough glue. Again, too much glue is a bad thing, so you want just enough, okay? It's a bit of an art. Now, well A, still fit to B is always the question. So luckily Gorilla Glue is not like a five minute glue so it's you've got time. Okay. So now that's it. Just together. And you can just see because it's got slight too much don't you can see it on the camera just start to bubble through here. Now you don't mind it in certain places, but it's not what they're really after. Now, what I need is good old sellotape. <laughs> so sellotape, what this is going to do is we're just going to use it to make sure that while the glue sets, that the frame, the body can't move. So it's lined up, okay. We're just going to make sure that it cannot move from that position. Okay, we want it to hold its position. We're going to put some tape around there. Okay, just means it'll stay. Helps grip it a bit. So I'll just put it over here. Helps keep the airframe okay. Now we've got the front, come to the front, and to grip nicely. Not just, just to help keep it. So it's going to be. Here. 
And those plastic pieces that I've already glued in, just here for the quick release, okay, and one here and one here for the mounts. There's actually a one for the bottom parachute hatch here, but I can get to that and glue that in place later. It's not as uh, it's not as important to get it in situ. Small piece, just get the tail right, just to hold it. I have to say, the kit's fantastic. The moulding's great. Um, it's going to hold it well. I'll just put another piece across here, just to help bring the frame. See, we just just a bit, bit of a gap forming there. What we do is just grip that a little bit. As well, so tape just does what it does. There we go. Sticks to everything but what you want it to. Right, so, just give it a squeeze across the front. Squeeze it tight. Let's get that in and around. Just so it brings it together. You guys can see the glue in there, but can just see it. You see, it's uh, just starting to expand out here as well. Look, coming along, coming along. So we'll just just so I can get it to go all the way across. That's yay! Just to get it. Okay, now what is it? Kitchen roll. Okay, because foaming, you know, you don't really want the bumps or the lumps. So we're just going to give it a little bit of a wipe where it's coming through. glue coming through in certain places because foams up, you've got too much, you try to mount the flight controller in the base of the aircraft, you can end up mounting it to bumpy glue surfaces, then you've got to cut down and level with a sharp knife. But I have to say, that's, uh, it's, looking, it's looking good, not too shabby at all. Here's the thing, once you've done this, you can't open it back up to put more glue. So there are a couple of tricks, we'll get into them maybe later, if I spot, uh, I've missed something I don't mind. Um, typically you just get like a flat headed screwdriver, pry a bit of a hole, get some glue in. But generally, it should be fine. Centre piece is looking good, because see plenty of glue there now. And there, plenty across the top here, here. Plenty through the tail. Yeah, plenty on the underside. So yeah, I'm liking that. Just fit well together. Right, so that's the believer. Right, welcome back. So the air frame is now glued together. It's gone together really well, although I have missed a couple of bits that I need to glue in. 
So this piece here, this wood strengthener here, I need to glue that in. And then if I'm going to use the Pixahawk or flight controller, if you like, mounting board, it which lives in here, he says. <laughs> I just love it when things drop to the bottom. Okay, that actually lives, he says. Right, go on in, go on in. Right, so it actually lives there. Okay, so it allows you to mount it up a level like it's got two decks. So you've got a deck under. Right, and the only thing is, if I want to mount that and use it, I didn't glue this little fellow in place. This little fella needs to go under here, just there, and four of them need gluing in place. There's one, there's the second goes there, third goes there, and the fourth goes there. So I just need to do them. So I'll take that out before I lose it. I've put in place the top hatch clips here, so the quick release. So all you do is you put it in. It fits like a dream, I have to say. And then it clicks in and you push it again and it comes up. They're still glue setting, okay? So the black plastic piece, glued them in place, and they'll be fine, okay? Now the foaming glue, so Gorilla Glue is what we use for gluing the airframe together and all everything else, because um, I like it. A lot of people go, oh, it foams. Well, it does foam, but actually, I've done rather, I've got a, well, it's gone rather well, actually. The top of the frame, there's hardly any foaming of. I was wiping it and cleaning it as the glue dried, for the most part. It's a little bit bumpy in places at the back here. I don't mind it there. Um, this is the parachute area. So if you want to put the parachute, this is where you put it. I've not put the servo mount in yet, and I don't know um, if I'm going to use it for the parachute. I don't think I will. I think it'll end up with the Futaba receiver back here. So we've got a Futaba receiver. I'm not sure which one I'm going with yet, but we'll have one receiver here. Um, I could actually pair two and have a backup so I can have redundancy all the way. And I'm thinking of the 433 video transmitter back here as well for telemetry. The reason is I just want to push it away from the battery, which will block the signal. Um, so yeah. I'm thinking either either in there, so that goes there, or I might put them up here, um, so there's a top piece, um, just just so I'm out of the way of the battery. Okay. Now, so next jobs are I'm going to glue these in place. And I'm going to glue these little bits in place. And then I'm going to do the wings as well, okay? Um, the control horns, I'll just grab a wing, he says, the tail fin actually. So just here, just put it there. So that goes there. And what we have is, I will be gluing these as well as the screwing. So that will go there in place. So the horn goes there, like that. And it's got a little back plate as well. And that will go on the other side in situ, which will also be glued to give it strength, just to hold it, just in case, okay? So it's plenty of strengthening. And that will be, and I've got that little job to do, and I've got the, I've got the two tail pieces and the two main wings I'm going to do that on as well. Um, I'm then going to glue some more of these on the main wing. So these are going to be done um, on the main wings for where the um, ESC motor hatches are and stuff. So I must do them at the same time, seeing as a little bit of glue out and doing a few little jobs. Um, but yeah, so far it's coming along nicely. It's going to be a nice aircraft, I think, when it's done. Um, I have got a choice actually whether to cover these or not. So I've got a choice. One second. I'm just going to cut the video for a second. 
Right. So, have your three pieces. Okay, keep everything in here, keep all your bits together and out of the way. Only what I'm working with it needs to be here. Bit of damp cloth because uh, Gorilla Glue likes to be moist. One surface at least. Okay, just a bit of moisture. What I'll do is Gorilla Glue. You don't need a lot, just a little dip. Probably. I don't know if you can see that. Just two little blobs there. Turn it over. Again. A little bit of glue. Not too much. Make sure the control board's facing the right way. I'll just sit there nicely like that. And flip it over. There's a little recess in there. Ooh. Slide it into place. Get your screw over. Now, as I mentioned, you can always just add uh, just nets of super glue. Where this stuff just. Uh, It needs to be a lot, literally just a dab on the very tip because you don't want it to go anywhere other than where it's going because I'm not sure if the super glue is, is foam safe and if it's not it will do what it does best <laughs> melt. Right, there you go and that's gripped okay look at that isn't that beautiful we might just get a bit of foaming glue starting to come just there, but I'll give that a wipe away. And that's how you do it. Don't over tighten these and grip too much. If you do, you'll damage everything. It'll just make your day a little bit harder. Okay. But that is not coming undone for no one. Okay. I have to take that off, there'll be lots of swearing and lots of damage. Got another one. So again, we want our pieces, we want one of these, we want our screw, and we want our back plate. What I'm just going to do is, because these are so fiddly, I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to start the thread off into the plastic, okay? It just helps. Help. Stab it. I need to stab myself. Just what I like to do. There's a reason why I do it now and not while it's in the wing. <laughs> he says that and he's looking at the screw going. I think that's a 10 mil, you know. Is that an 8 or is it a 10? No, they are 8s. That's the case, okay, so that's an 8. Okay. I'm just get it to go. Really, really fidgety little things. There we go. That's nice. Yay. That's better. It just makes it so it'll go in easier. Because we use the super glue to lock it, it won't come out anyway. So again, what I'll do is a couple of dabs of glue. Oh, then if you've got a bit of moisture. It doesn't matter which surface it is to be honest. Which one to do it? So that's got the Thing. So we'll just put a bit on that side. This is just come on. There's my glue. Again, we don't need vast amounts. Okay, just a bit. Okay. 
That's all we need. Okay. Make sure it's the right way. So there's my control. There's my home. I'll control it. There's my. Let's go in that way. Just turn it over. I've got glue on my fingers just to be annoying. Gorilla glue is not stuff you want on your hands, guys and girls. I'm studying my own light here as well. <laughs> not good. Right, that goes there. Here's our screw. We'll just. Just a tab. Smallest so of the tabs on the end. And the screw. There. What's that? There you go. Look at that. Nice and neat. Look. Nice and neat. Ready to be connected up. Yep, looking like a good angle. And that's the second wing. Look, look. Put that to one side. That's those done. Right, wing covering. Oh, look at that pink, hey, nice and visible. Okay, now I've got a choice. I can either do the wing tips of the main wing with a bit of pink, okay, and or I can do the tail pieces like this and I can make that pink. Um, the idea is just to make it more visible and then. I have got something else, so I have to decide what I'm doing with this first, just to be clear, this should be the first thing to go on, but I have got this, and it's a clear covering, use a heat iron, so you, I can unroll it, it's lovely stuff, and then you iron it onto your wing, and I'm going to put this on, because what it will do is, especially on the main wings that have come here, uh, I think I've got enough to do both wings. I'm not sure about the winglets, but the rear end, but these don't need it as much. What it is, it'll protect the leading edge. So the leading edge of the wing is just foam, okay? So when you're coming into land, it will take a bit of a beating, it'll hit stuff. That leading edge, you just want to protect it a bit. So my way to protect it is I'm going to use some of this. It's really good and it'll just stop any damage. Um, like if you're hitting tall grass, little sticks and twigs, they, they literally, this stuff, just gives it that layer of protection. Um, and you won't think it, because it's just, you know, just a little bit of plastic, but it's really good. What do you reckon? A bit of pink, and some like see-through. So yeah, normally I put um, stuff like this on first, but I might might forgo it and put it on top of this, but if it ends up under this, it ends up better protected basically. Though this will protect leading edge and wings as well. But yeah, so just doing a few little bits now on it. Like I say, flight controller mounting and bits. And yeah, right. I'm going to crack on and do a little bit of gluing and stuff, but that's the update and where we've got to so far. Right, main wing, it's a bit mucky, I've had it out a bit. Now, the main wing, um, do I glue these in uh, while I'm gluing other bits in? And it kind of made sense, and I went, ah, I spotted this little divot here. I haven't seen them in the box, but a couple of little thin pieces here. What they have to do, they have to go there and there like that. And then that strengthens up the aileron. So when the servo pushes, it'll not, it'll not twist as much. It should hold the aileron what's it? Okay, so the idea is to stop the aileron from twisting because the movement point is here, not in the middle. So the idea is this will just stiffen the wing up in that the only one up in that section. Now I'm I'm 
torn whether to cover it with the clear stuff that I showed earlier from about here all the way across and cover the ailerons as well and it's maybe not a bad thing to do because it'll stiffen up the whole wing and it's better to cover it like that than before I go putting bits in here or here because when I put the covering over it I'm going to have to um, cut anyway okay um, slightly there's a slight bit there on the wing I'll just make it interesting top of the wings nice where is that where did I put that covering one second Here we go, as he says, stepping around in front of cameras again. Da -da -da -da. Ah, right. So yeah, it's more than, yeah, what I can do is I can lay that across there, do a nice, I can work with a cell actually. Yeah, I've got enough to do both wings fully actually. I think I might try and cover that cell. I'm terrible with shapes like this by the way, so if I do try it, don't expect it to come out pretty at all. Um, but that would be quite good actually. And I've got enough to do this wing and the other wing. So I think the plan there. Oh static. Right, come on. Curving on yourself. Let's just let me back up. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll glue those long pieces in place to stiffen up the aileron and then I will look at doing that later. Um, just because of the way they they will go through the covering as well, which also adds a bit more strength. Um, so yeah, receiver choice at the minute is between a 6208 and a R6008 high speed for Tarba. I have got another one, but I can't find it, I can't remember what it's called. 8 channel, S bus is the way to go. Range, 7, maybe 7 kilometres radio range with these. Not that I'll be able to fly that because legally you're stuck to the 500 metres. Although that does mean technically it's possible to do a one kilometre flight. And some people go, oh, how do you do that? Well, if you're stuck there, okay, you go 500 metres that way and you go 500 metres that way. That's your one kilometre flights. Okay. Although something this big would be visible. So if they ever remove the 500 metres wording, when they go visual line of sight, at least I know with this I'll be good to about a kilometre. Okay, and how do I know that? Well, the Model Flying Club, this, if this was our Model Flying Club, we've been flying stuff like the Inspires and big model aircraft over two metre wingspan or around two metres this size. If you actually go down the road or down one of the footpaths and you're over a kilometre away, about 1200 metres, you can see the aircraft flying around the club area. So we know that visually in our sight is possible. Um, but yeah, you want to you want to make sure it's all right. Okay? But 500 meters is what we've got to stick to, so we, we've got more than enough power to, to do that. We've, we've got more than enough range and flight ability. Right. Just put some screws away because I'm not going to be. Oh, we're not going to be gluing that piece now. Okay, so I've got them in there. Right. I'll turn this over. And I want it out again. <laughs> there we go. Got to make one surface moist. It's the ball of the glue. So what we'll do is we'll just do that. Make it a bit moist there. Get our Gorilla glue. And then what we can do is we can just drop. Now in the molding, injection molding, on, on when they when they make stuff like this, they have some injection molding. You'll see in places the mold's got the, the foam's got like little bumps. There's one there, one there, some indentations in here. And that's where I want to put the glue. 
because it can run into there and bubble rather than it going anywhere else. Drop there, just nice and gentle, don't need a lot. I don't want to overdo it, I don't want it foaming and lifting up and being a problem anywhere on the wing. Just not on. Okay. Okay. Because what we're going to do is when we slide this in, it'll help spread the glue a bit. Okay. It just helps spread that glue. Okay. We're pushing too much. We've got a bit much on in there. Ugh. We'll have to get the rag and do a bit of cleaning. I'm going to do a bit of cleaning. This will work a bit, there's my rag. A bit of cleaning, especially around anything that we don't want it. <laughs> Screw over it. Drop a glue one in there. I don't want that. There. Okay, and that with the Gorilla Glue will hold. Okay, there is a bit missing here if you noticed or not. On the other side, I've yet to glue in, do the wiring, put the motor mounts in, but that's wing one. We'll just let that glue look level, there's no, nothing sticking up anywhere. And that's that strength of, okay?